101.1 FM 90 is brought to you by Stanbic Bank. And a very warm welcome to Spectrum on this election day, Friday, February the 18th. Uh, my name is Edmond Tisdor to host this show. Tonight on Spectrum, we reflect on the voting process that has just ended. Did this process meet both international and local standards? Voting for the presidential and parliamentary elections has come to an end amidst challenges that have left many questioning the process. There were delays in delivering election materials by almost three hours and in other places as many as five hours, leaving many people stranded. Many people had voters' cards, but they were not on the register, and they were sent away by presiding officers who insisted that only those on the register should vote. There were security concerns. The army was deployed heavily, even before any major incident had happened, yet it had been promised that the UPDF would only intervene when the police was overwhelmed by incidents. Armored military vehicles were deployed in different, different locations in Kampala and elsewhere. I've seen them in Mbale and other places. In Sironko, a journalist was attacked. Mr. Julius Odeke was shot by the military in a car owned by parliamentary candidate. Opposition candidate, I should add, Nandula Mafabi, and uh, Mr. Odeke is currently being treated in Bali Hospital. Other journalists were roughed up in Chibuku district by supporters of Saleh Kamba after they tried to photograph his supporters who were trying to stuff ballot papers at his parliamentary office <coughs> located near a polling station, and uh, in this cafe at least eight people were injured. There were also clashes of supporters in Budadiri West, supporters of <coughs> the NRM, and the opposition clashed, leaving over 70 people injured. I said 70 people injured, according to the Red Cross. Similar reports of clashes were reported from other parts of the country. Political arrests were also reported. That we had complaints about agents of oppos opposition candidates being arrested by RDCs and district security officers in different parts of the country. Sounds like a movie in some instances. Bribery and ballot stuffing. There are also a number of reports of ballot stuffing and bribery in some parts of the country, especially in northern Uganda. Uh, Dr. Olaro Tun, the presidential uh, flag bearer, did not show up at the Nakawa Pentecostal Church to vote. Uh, he's been a critic of the electoral process, describing it as a sham. UPC failed to have polling agents in different parts of the country. Uh, other presidential candidates had cast their votes by 1 p.m. Uh, President Seven cast his vote much later, uh, but we interviewed some of these and we'll be uh, hearing some of the uh, comments after they spoke to us, after they voted. Tonight on Spectrum, we have Mr. Nicholas Opia, legal consultant with Akijul, uh, as one of our panelists. You're welcome, Mr. Opio. Thank you very much, and uh, good evening, listeners. We also have Mr. Omar Kalinge Nyago, head of research at the IPC Secretariat. You're most welcome, Mr. Kalinge. Thank you for inviting me. Nicholas, how would you characterize today's voting? Well, um, I think the true picture of the process of uh, voting today is, is just emerging uh, from the various reports from across the country. There seems to have been certain fundamental flaws in the process, um, namely missing names in the voter register or the, you know, or on the voter roll. Uh, I'm personally a victim of that. I, I showed up to, to vote at my polling session and my name was missing from the register and I just turned away. And you have reports of violence in, um, in, in, in the East and, and in some parts of Kampala. So I think that the overall picture emerging is that there have been huge challenges uh, in, this, in this election. And, and, and the true picture, I think, will emerge tomorrow after, after you know, we have a fair report from all over the country. But what we are seeing right now from Kampala, what we are hearing from reporters across the country and friends across the country, is that the process seemed to have uh, been uh, done in a very uh, disorganized manner. Manner. Certain areas never had uh, ballot papers arriving early. People, you know, turned up to vote as early as six in the morning, and you know the polling materials were not there. Uh, there were, you know, late deliveries, and then that I think is is is, is very significant, and uh, it's a worrying thing for me. It's a very very worrying thing for me. I hope that uh, the reports coming in afterwards will be a lot better and comforting. Well, is that we've just been joined by our third panelist, Honorable Mike Sebaru, a uh, member of parliament uh, in the East African Legislative, Ass Legislative Assembly. That's the parliament for the regional East Africa. Uh, he's also a member of the NRM NEC. You're most welcome, Honorable Sebaru. Uh, thank you very much, um, Edmond. And I uh, just want to say hello to my good friends and colleagues in uh, on the panel. And I uh, just want to thank Ugandans that came out there, turned up to fulfill 
their civic responsibilities as citizens of this country uh, to be able to participate in the process of choosing leaders uh, because if you don't come out to participate in the process of choosing leaders uh, then you end up being ruled by leaders that are chosen for you so it is everyone's responsibility to make sure that they are part and parcel of that process so I just want to thank them that came out and I want to thank uh, Radio One for this program and for the coverage that you've been making uh, of this election. So uh, I, I hope in the next one hour we should be able to exchange and compare notes uh, regarding the way the process went in different parts of the country. So I'm, I'm happy to be part of this, uh, this panel this evening. Can you talk to us about how you would characterize this, uh, this, uh, this voting process? It's a one-day process. How would you characterize it? It's ended already. Yeah, the, the, the voting, I, I just want to give more emphasis in the areas that uh, that, I, that I was able to, 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 to observe, although I'm not an observer, <laughs> but uh, I'm, I'm, I'm from Wakiso district and uh, I had opportunity to link up with different places in Wakiso and the voting was, was very peaceful. Uh, the, the, the lines, people were enthusiastic. I would say the turnout was quite uh, impressive in my view uh, compared to, to other elections. I'm not, too, I'm not too sure whether subsequent elections will have the same kind of uh, turnout and enthusiasm because there is a tendency to for people to really put a lot of the stakes appear to be higher for the president and the members of parliament and subsequently when you go down the line by the time we get to the seventh uh, i think the, the, the turnout may be quite uh, drastically low but for this one the turnout was good uh, there were bits of challenges here and there so some areas uh, had uh, materials arriving late but that was not quite uh, a biz a, an issue in wakiso most of the, uh, all the polling st stations that uh, I, I, I got to know about quite good their, their materials in time but there was a bit of challenge regarding the, the names on the voter register, some people the, the, the names came to different places, so th that was a bit of a challenge and I think uh, it is an area that the Electoral Commission can definitely handle better for, for purposes of uh, subsequent elections, there may not be much time but it is an area that uh, needs to be looked at, otherwise in Wakiso and its surroundings, the, the, the atmosphere was quite uh, peaceful. There were no incidences to the areas that I know of that uh, attracted any attention in terms of being threats to peace and security regarding the process. And largely, I, I, I should say that uh, the, the, that area where we were, were, were peaceful and uh, they the, 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 the were transacted in a, in a peaceful manner peaceful way. Mr. <coughs> Kalinga Nyago, what, uh, I'll ask you the same question. How would you characterize today's voting process? Well, it's, um, all the reports are not yet all out, but uh, for the few uh, cases we've had, I think uh, this has been quite a difficult, difficult election. Um, as Mr. Severo pointed out, this time many people really said, let's go and vote. I think we didn't have a problem with voter turnout. We've driven all throughout town, did Mukono, did uh, Wakiso as well. And you could see, you know, crowds under the sun. And <laughs> you really say, hey, these guys are standing here. So, yes, the turnout was good, but many, many people have been disappointed that they could not exercise their right to vote those that were not on the voters register whereas they should have been those that arrived and found their names ticked already voted uh, we had a case at Crested Towers we are in Nakasero and uh, a young man goes to vote and his friend says uh, please check if my name is there yes and he checks a friend has not arrived at the polling station has it arrived at he calls station. another because friend was already working shifts all right. So he said, please check if my Go name is Go ahead of there. me. Mm -hmm. And then he calls them to say, please check my name. Exactly. Yes. So this friend voted, thank God. And he checks and uh, for his friend's name. And yes, he had already voted. He said, no, not possible. Well. I said, well, you have already voted, according to the records here. <laughs> Mr. Kalinga, you don't believe in miracles. This is, this is, this is a very, 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 uh, you know, the disenfranchisement grafted on enthusiasm 
I think this is the most depressing day for most people who said, let me stand in for the sun. For many people, let's not say most. For let many people, for many people. Uh, let me stand in the sun. And you get there, you are voter number 232. Yes. <laughs> and your name and is they say, on the list. you're not on the list, or somebody has already voted, or go to...